So every minute of your life, you are under threat of attack by foreign invaders. I'm not talking about space invaders. I'm talking about the billions of bacteria, viruses, fungi, microbes, all of them trying to make your bodies their home. But we have evolved not to tolerate such behavior from those freeloaders. And so inside each of us is a powerful system of defense that has all of these different cell types working together as soldiers, as guards, as weapon factories. And I'm here to talk to you about one such powerful cell that I call the biological Pac-Man, or as it's officially known, the macrophage, which in ancient Greek pretty much means a Pac-Man, right? So there are three reasons why I like this cell. One, it loves to eat. I mean, I like to eat. Two, it kind of gets triggered quite easily. I, again, I can relate. <laughs> and three, I work on it. But why is the macrophage so important for us? Because this is a cell that actually patrols our body. And it been, if it encounters anything foreign or dangerous to you, it will love to eat it up. Think of a pathogenic bacteria or a virus. RIP to those guys. But here's where things can go wrong. Sometimes this Pac-Man can make some bad life decisions and it doesn't realize what to eat or what not to eat. And that's when things can go wrong. Take the example of the disease called multiple sclerosis. Here, these Pac-Men become so hangry that they start infiltrating your brain and your spinal cord in massive numbers. It's like a horde of Genghis Khan's army firing out toxic chemicals on the poor covering of your own nerve cells. So how do we make them behave then? Well, work in our lab has actually shown that we can manipulate this guy's love for eating against it. So. We feed them certain happy pills that we package with small biological molecules that have a calming effect on this guy. So much so that what was initially this destructive killing machine now becomes a Zen Dalai Lama of a cell. It starts to repair tissue. It starts to heal wounds. So imagine the possibilities and the potential for the treatment of inflammatory disorders like MS. And people who work with these cells know that finding these molecules that have the ability to turn the cell from killer to healer is the holy grail of macrophage-centered therapeutics. And our lab is just one that's on the mission to find these molecules to make this guy behave. <laughs>